I'm really sorry about the lighting. It is driving me crackers again. I think I'm just gonna get myself a new ring light. I'm just gonna end all the trouble and get myself a new ring light. I've got a bit of hair in my mouth. Nice. Um, so yeah, please ignore the lighting because it's probably going to go light, dark. I'm probably looking very tanned right now, which is not the case. Um, also, Chris is in the bath, so if you hear some noise um, to the side, are you going to hear the noise from the side? Oh my gosh, my brain today is just like not working. But if you hear any noise, I'm really sorry. Um, I wanted to film in this room because it's quite white, if that makes sense. Like, the, the lighting is better than the one upstairs because of the V-Lux blinds upstairs. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna stop rambling and I'm just gonna get straight into the video because, yeah. Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. I hope you are all doing well. So I wasn't expected to film this video if I'm honest. Um, I made a Boohoo order, order and I wasn't expecting it to come. Now me and Chris go to Edinburgh on Tuesday. It is Saturday when I'm filming this today and we go to Edinburgh on Tuesday and I wasn't expecting this, these parcels to come in time, if I'm honest. So I wasn't expecting it to film, basically to film it this early. Um, so I'm very happy about that. Also, I just want to let you know what this video is about. Um, I've not really said. So Boohoo have done a collaboration with Kourtney Kardashian. Um, it is meant to be a sustainable collection. Now obviously Boohoo is a fast fashion brand, so we're not probably gonna get the, um, I'm trying to think of the right words, like we're not gonna get full sustainability, if that makes sense. Um, but when I show you each piece, I am gonna go online and I'm, I'm hopefully gonna be able to find the items and I'm gonna be able to tell you like what material it's made out of and how it's meant to be sustainable as well. Also, I just want to point out, I will not be keeping everything. Um, again, that's not really sustainable for the planet. Um, I just want to show you what I could find. I might keep one or two items if they fit, but I am not keeping it all. I do not need to keep it all. It is a little bit ridiculous if I do. Um, so a lot of it will be going back, but I just thought I'd show you anyway. Right, so got three big bags because well I've got a small bag here a medium sized bag here and a larger bag here I feel like the larger one's got like the coats in I think I bought like two coats so I feel like they could be in there or could be in here um when I brought the parcels through when the um delivery driver dropped them off Chris looked at me as though like what the hell have you been buying and I'm like it's not as bad as it looks <laughs> Right, so I'm gonna get into the parcels. I'm gonna open them um, off camera just so I don't show you my address because I feel like I did that once nearly and it wasn't very good. So I'm gonna open the parcels off camera and then I'll show you them as I'm pulling them out. So in this bag is two jumper dresses. Um, I don't have jumper dresses to be honest um oversized hoodies they're pink i absolutely love pink and the way these were styled online was with some knee-high boots um i got this in a medium and i got it in a large as well just so i could decide sort of what size would be better because i do want to wear it as like a jumper dress if i can if not, then I'll be taking it back because I've not bought it for the purpose of a hoodie. I bought it for the purpose of trying to wear it as a jumper dress. Um, Boohoo by Kourtney Kardashian. Let's see if it says anything on the label about like how it's meant to be sustainable. So already the tag let's open it let's open it why am i sat here like just showing you it through the packaging like i need to show you it out of the packaging chantelle that's the whole purpose of the video come on now so this is the video uh, this is the video this is what i mean guys i've had so much sleep i feel like i've had too much uh, so this is the hoodie now this is absolutely huge what size is this one this is a large now it depends if it's going to fit lengthwise it's all right being baggy this way but i need it to be longer if that makes sense that is absolutely huge i feel like that's too big for me um but we'll see we'll see we'll try it on so 
the tag is not a normal tag. It says here this swing tag, this swing ticket is made with recyclable paper and something corn. I can't see, I can't read that. I'll have to show you it. So this swing ticket is made with recyclable paper and something corn waste as part of Boohoo's steps towards more sustainable fashion. I think this is absolutely the way to go, if I'm honest. Try and show you it. There we go. Now, it doesn't tell me what the material of the hoodie is made of, so we're gonna go on to Boohoo and try and find out. Now, I should have done this, you know, before I started the video, but little unorganized Chantel <laughs> didn't do that. So let's have a look. Um, it's not coming up. It's weird. I'm gonna have to try and find it online because it's not coming up in my order for some weird reason, even though I did. We'll go into this one because they've got the the black one. So this is made of 50% recyclable, recycled polyester and 50% real cotton. Real stands for responsibility, responsible environment enhanced livelihoods. This means, means in partnership with Cotton Connect, we're training the cotton farmers in more sustainable production techniques and we'll be measuring the environmental and social impact. So that is made of 50% recycled polyester and 50% real cotton. I'm sorry guys, I can't speak today. Like, I'm just... It actually feels really nice as well. It feels really soft. It doesn't feel hard. It doesn't feel like rough or anything. And it also, it's got like a lining, like a fluffy sort of lining inside, which makes it even more comfortable. And also we've got like some black little toggles as well. So we'll see what they look like. Obviously I've got the large and a medium. Um, so we'll see what they look like. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can see it, so let me just put my glasses on. It's just absolutely huge in it. Now it fits as a dress, of course it does, but it just looks a little bit ridiculous, doesn't it? Like it doesn't look. This is a large as well, and I feel like the medium is going to be a little bit too, like, smaller in length-wise. Um, the large is brilliant for length, but for, yeah. I thought this was going to be one of the items that I kept, but oh well, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. But yeah, it's really comfy. I love the colour. Colours are really nice. Um, it's a shame about, like, how <laughs> baggy it is. So the next item is a pink faux leather sort of trench coat sort of jacket. Painting croc trousers, sorry. I thought this was the, um, the trench coat. I think I got the trench coat and the trousers. Oh wow. The colour of them is really nice, but I don't know if I'd be able to pull these off, if that makes sense. So again, the tag is exactly the same as all the others. It's um, more sustainable. These are the trousers. <laughs> I would absolutely love to rock these. Like, I wish I could, but I just don't think I could, if I'm honest. They've got a split at the side. So they've got like a split in there, if you can see. Again, I will try all these on for you. We can all have a good laugh together, but I just don't think they're gonna fit. Well, I just don't think they're gonna suit, if I'm honest. Um, but we can have a good laugh. So I got up the trench coat on my phone because I thought that's what that was, because I didn't look and I'm clearly delusional today. <laughs> So let's try and get up the trousers to see what they're made of. Because that this is the whole point of the video. Like, it is to educate us and 
so we know like what materials we are wearing and what materials we are buying. So the coating is made from polyurethane. That is probably not how you pronounce it. My backing is made from 100% recycled polyester and it is made in China. And it tells you how to look after it and what to do when you finish with it, basically. I don't know if you can see that because of the glare in the ring light, but it's all on Boohoo. It tells you all on there on each like item. I love the colour. I just don't think these are going to suit, but we shall see. Right, guys, so these are the trousers. <laughs> they actually look super cute. I'm not going to lie. Like, we a pair of heels. How cute would they be? Like, I, do you know what? I wasn't expecting to like these, but I think they're really cute. We a pair of heels, like, going down to down. <laughs> oh, my God. They're actually quite cute. See, I've not got that much. It's just bulky items. Right, so the next item is this cropped boxy white shirt i'm actually um looking forward to trying this one on because i feel like this is an item that i'd probably wear a lot so it's just like a little cropped oh sorry about the lighting this is what i mean guys i need a new ring light it's driving me crackers. um so this is the white shirt I'm just inspecting it. I'm just having a look. Um, yeah, it's just like a white shirt. Don't know if it's going to be see-through. This is the thing with white shirts. You've just got to be careful, aren't you? Because they can be quite see-through. So we'll we'll do a test with that one, obviously. When we try it on, we'll, we'll have a look. Where's my phone? So we can see what material it's made of. Because, again, I didn't think to get it up before filming this part. So, my fabric is made from 100% recycled cotton and made in India. And that's this. Yeah, I'm looking forward to trying this on. I do like little white shirts. Um, I've got a long, just a normal plain white shirt um, that I wanted to wear for work. And uh, i got a mark on it and I can't get a mark out. Um, so I might actually turn that into like a little crop top because I think the mark's quite low down. So I might just turn it into a crop top, you know, recycle. Why not? Um, but yeah, I like the little white shirt. So we'll we'll see what that looks like on. Right, so this is the top. It's just a top to me. Um, obviously, it's super creased. Um, but yeah. don't know it yeah it's just a top there's nothing exciting about it it's not like drawing me in and it's not it's not pulling me away if that makes sense but yeah it's just just a top i think after the oh god that was quite loud after this video guys i'm gonna have to cut my nails i've just bent all of these nails backwards <laughs> that hurt right so if you see me doing this <laughs> it's because i don't want to bend any more nails they're so long i they do need cutting i'm gonna have to cut them after this video like why have i got made them get that long i never know um anyway so the next item is the wide leg joggers which are in pink i absolutely love these because i thought these would be so fun and so cute it's like a little airport outfit or if you want to wear them just for like lounging about in i thought they were so fun um, i got these in a medium oh they're quite yeah de chantelle they've got a elastic waistband i'm so dumb honestly today i don't know what is wrong with me i think i just need to go back to bed just go back to bed Chantel. anyway um so yeah this is the joggers these look so comfy i'm not gonna lie 
Um, they did do a pink bodysuit and they paired them with these and when I went on to have a look at the collection after work the bodysuits had all sold out like just completely sold out and I thought oh the bodysuit would have been so cute with this like for an airport outfit with some trainers or like if you just nip into shops that'd be so cute um but yeah I think with a little white top this would be quite nice or something tucked in or you know just something quite comfy it's giving me comfy vibes and like the pink jumper what well, i wanted to wear as a dress um it's got that sort of like fleece lining inside which, which makes it so comfy so they're not itchy and also i had it already on my phone guys see i'm, I'm getting there i'm getting there um so the fabric is made from 50 percent recycled polyester and 50% real cotton and then it goes into real stands for responsibility environment enhanced and livelihoods and so on and so on um, and this is made in Pakistan so it seems like they've got quite a lot of the rent collection made in different places so instead of it all being just like made in China or just all of it made in I don't know England yeah they've had it like made in all different places which is good so yeah, I can't wait to try these on. These look so comfy. Definitely what we need for right now because it's getting a little bit chillier. Not gonna lie. I'm absolutely freezing in here, but the cost of the heating right now is ridiculous. So we're, we're gonna roll it. Right, so the trousers fit. They are really nice. I've just scratched my... Um, goodness i can't speak i can't speak the trousers um joggers wide leg joggers really nice really comfy yeah i just feel like they're a tiny bit too long like a tiny bit too long um i've tried pulling them up as much as possible but they're just yeah a little bit too long they look really nice as well with this top but i just feel like they'd be just dragging on floor if i wore them out and i kind of want to get as much use out of them as possible so I think it'd be just like a waste of money if I didn't wear them out. But yeah, really nice colour, fit really nicely, um, apart from them being obviously too long and they feel really good. So the next item I'm gonna show you is the pink trench coat, the pink crop trench coat to go with the trousers. You know, so if you like Courtney Kardashian and you can absolutely rock this, then you go girl or as i say you go glen coco is that from mean girls i think it is in there there's a lot of tissue paper like a lot i'm guessing it's to help protect the crockness <laughs> is that even a word i don't think it is um but I don't know, is that really sustainable? See, this is why we need to, this is why I need to educate myself on um, sustainable materials. So, hmm. I don't think I like this. I don't think I like it as much as what I did online. I don't know what I was expecting, but I just don't think I like it. It's exactly the same as the trousers, but in a sort of trench coat version and they've got like padded shoulders here like feel the padding it's got a slight and i mean like the slight bit of um fish smell which is not great when you're wearing like <laughs> god speak fake leather oh my goodness chantal go back to bed jesus so yeah, I'm, I'm not blown up. <laughs> Walking myself here. I'm not blown away by this. Um, yeah, I like the trousers more, which I don't know why, because it's exactly the same, but it's in a trench coach version. Um, but yeah, Courtney Kardashian rocked it, but I am certainly not rocking this, and I certainly am not a fan of it either. I don't know why I thought I could rock it, or I don't know why I thought. I'd like it, but I just don't. I'm gonna leave her there. 
I'm just not overly chuffed with this. I, yeah, I just think it looks ridiculous. Um, I mean, Kourtney Kardashian can pull it off, but I just certainly can't. Like, it just doesn't. You can't even tie it. Like, it doesn't tie because it's it's stiff. <laughs> oh my god! I'm gonna show Chris. Right, so the next item is the PU flared trousers. I got these in a size 14. I can't seem to find them online, so I can't tell you what material they're made of, unfortunately. But by the time I edit this, if I find out, I will pop it on the screen. Uh, or I'll pop it in the description box below. That might be a better idea. So, but this, these would look really nice with the white cropped boxy top. If that makes sense. Oh my goodness. What are this tissue paper? Like a lot. I think it is to protect the le leather and the crock. <laughs> so these are the trousers. Now, they're just, yeah, bog standard like leathery fake obviously fake leathery trousers um yeah obviously wide leg now i've never properly been a fan of wide leg but i do want to try them again because last year i did try to get into them and i just couldn't get on with wide leg i don't know if they just didn't suit me or whatever i don't know i can't remember um but I thought we'll give these another go um, give these another go. I've never tried these. Give these ones a go and see how we get on really. Um, but yeah, obviously it's got the sustainable tag, which I kind of am glad they've done that. I'm kind of glad they've thought about like the packaging. Um, I'm kind of, well, I'm really glad that they've actually thought about the tag as well. They could have just stuck a normal tag on there, but they've actually put a um, more sustainable one on which is great because it is meant to be a more sustainable collection so the trousers these are so comfy like so comfy and they fit really nice like, and these are a 14 and i think that's normally the size that i am also they are a little bit long this is the thing with boohoo and pretty little thing i feel like the trousers are just super long um unless it's just me being a little bit short i thought i was always tall but yeah, I actually quite like these, I think they're quite nice, I think they fit really well. The next item is the Seamless Jumpsuit. Now, I did want one of these for this time of year. I kind of wanted a play suit version of this for summer, um, but I just couldn't find one anywhere. So this is a seamless jumpsuit i got this in a size large because i've got a bigger belly and a bigger bum <laughs> and small boobs like i always say in every single video um so yeah we'll see how that looks i feel like it's meant to be a little bit lower on the bust area which i don't know if i'm about um oh it says on here 92 percent poly made and eight percent elastane Elastine? Elastine. I'm really not great at pronouncing words, if I'm honest, guys. <laughs> so I'd show you. So yeah, I'm guessing that's what it's made of, but we'll, we will double check because, like I said, this is what this video is all about. Let's have a look. I'm made from 72 recycled polymade and 20% polymade. 72 recycled polymade, 20% polymade, and 8% elastane. And I'm made in Turkey. Oh. So yeah, that's the jumpsuit. I'm actually really excited to try that on. I'm really hoping that's one of the items that fit because I'd love a little jumpsuit for this time of year. So this is the play suit, jumpsuit, I'm sorry, jump. So this is the jumpsuit. I'm standing like this because I feel like my boobs are gonna pop out. 
yeah, it's just not great. Let's let's not do that. The back's nice. I feel like the back's quite low. Um, but the top is uh, the front bit is very low. So I'm gonna hold it like this so we don't see anything because it's too risque. So it's definitely going back. Other than that, it feels really comfortable. Uh, it don't feel itchy. It feels quite nice and soft. It's just the front bit. <laughs> it's just the front bit. And we're coming on to the last item, which is this large coat. Now I saw this and I was like, this is beautiful. I love this. I love my coats in autumn winter time. Um, so this is the dog tooth oversized wool look maxi coat. I got this in a 12 because I knew it'd be oversized anyway. Um, so I didn't want to obviously go to a size um, large or a 14 and it'd be at like our ear because that would not look great. Sorry, I'm just trying to find it on the website. There we go. So, my outer is made from 50% recycled polyester, 50% polyester. My lining is made from 100% recycled polyester and I'm made in China. So, let's get this bad boy open. Chris is going to say as soon as he sees this he's going to be like that's some of my nan would wear he always refers to these sort of big coats as uh, coats that his nan would wear but I keep telling him that's what's in fashion so your nan is absolutely in fashion uh, <laughs> but I love them I think they just look so nice and styled right and with the right outfit they just look so cool I, I, I love big coats like this I do uh, um, so yeah, I can't wait to try that on and see what that looks like. Right, so this is the coat. Um, I think it's all right, but I'm not massively keen on it. Um, it goes all the way down to my feet as well, which is not what I want. I want something a little bit high, um, a little bit higher up. Is that the right wording? I don't know what the right wording is today, guys, because I'm just not... I'm not well, <laughs> um, but yeah, it is nice, it feels nice, it is a little bit big, I won't lie, it's like really like boxy out sort of style, um, which is probably my fault, I should have looked more, um, but yeah, on the right person this would look so cute, but not on me. Right guys, that is the end of my video. I hope you have enjoyed. I'm sorry about the mess behind me. Um, I could have done it a little bit neater, could I? Let's be honest. Um, I'm gonna go now because my knees are absolutely freezing. I've got, I think I've just ripped my jeans even more on the knee. Um, I've got ripped knee jeans, so my knees are a little bit cold right now. So I'm gonna go and I hope you have enjoyed and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys. Mwah.